Yes, hello guys. We'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Now, in this video today, I just wish you guys thank you guys for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Those of you guys who are so far done with my uh, subscription, if now you guys you have not yet happened to maybe to subscribe on my channel, please make sure you subscribe now so that you don't miss our next video. Uh, video. Now, on this video, today, I'm going to just show you how to come up with the mobile well, with the app using python and uh, Django or with the flask now we are going to look onto how do we host up a website or how do we host up an app using uh, python anywhere now python anywhere is a free platform where we can deploy our app online and then we have our app running for some a time of testing like three to four months I'm just give you assumption this is where you can always get it from so you just need to go to your PC and then go to Google so the only thing you need now this time around is to have the internet with you then you just type on as python um, python anyway.com so when you type python anyway.com this will take you straight to the platform where you'll be in position to to host up your web application or your website or your system now by default uh, it is taking me straight to my stuff because i'm logged in and just write log out then i tell you how the channel the process main is now the main stuff is that uh, when you log down oh this how this stuff looks like uh, and when you just log into this application uh, you try to just go into the application you'll find that this way it will take you the first major stage you get using a python anyway.com now i remember saying it is free you can use it to test your application coming up with your website just like the one i just came up with today which is called the OSP pro the Django app so we are going to just learn something like this to come up with your own simple the Django application or the Django site Okay, so uh, let me give assumption what we're going to do at the moment. The first thing you need at the moment is to just make sure you can do the, the, uh, the process of uh, registering. So when you click on registration here, it's just simple steps. There's nothing much needed there to, that you need to do. So this is what's going to happen. When you turn to do that, uh, you'll always ask you plans and pricing, blah, blah, things like that. Which then here down also, if you cut cross check, they tend to have other services of their monthly billing, blah blah. If at all you want to really host with them, but for beginners, which I'll be having any username or python.com, blah blah, to be present, and you'll not be having all these other access apart from the one for sharing your console with other people. If maybe you want them to actually help you out on your stuffs. And then you not have any other services. Maybe the private uh, pr uh, file storage that you'll be having, it will be approximately a half of this guy here, which will be 512 uh, MBs. And then the, the the CPU allowances will be having 100 sec seconds, uh, something like that. And then uh, maybe with this offer here uh, of the name, so. Uh, that's still okay because you know it is good for for practice then here down now this is the main point if you create up a site you'll just need to click it there which then will take you to the port, port, portion or the partition where you'll be in position to create up your own personal site so I request you guys do that as nice needed there's no big step don't forget your username is going to be the name most cases that they're going to be using for the site so in a simple term the name you are giving here if you are giving me the name as OSP Pro it's going to be the name taken by this site or by this that's going to be used you get so uh, that would be the name so then here you come and give your email address if it is OSP Pro here you come and confirm your password if that's the password you're taking that's the password you're taking for all those stuff and then in the simple term when you come and you click blah blah here and then you click register button definitely you won't be part of this you know this you won't be part of the movement you won't be part of the that will be done but don't forget your username which is that and don't forget also your email the details of your registration so after doing that i believe you'll be okay by then now the next step that you will have to do after doing this they'll ask you to use your email address 
Because they'll send you some kind of a link that you have to confirm that for sure what is you that is actually accessing these stuff. You get? Which then you will send you a message. So I hope I've explained that part of the way. Then on the other way around, after doing that, you can actually also you know, tend to uh, uh, to login because definitely will take you straight to the login details. So for my case, I'm just going to log in. So I don't have my details here, which I'm just going to click here to log me into the system. Now, after you log into the system, sorry, just pick this, start pick this also. Just put the email up, username, which is that, and then that, which is. Just try to give my details and I see whether I can access the system. Yeah, so not interested in that. So I'm just going to go to my dashboard so you can put your account if you want to create up account. So I already have one, so I can just go back to the dashboard here. So inside the dashboard, I think you'll be having console, which console will help you if I told you want to come up with the site. So the site I'm going to come up with is ready here offline. So this is the site I have, which I'm just going to change this name. I'm just going to change the name of this file to uh, maybe to uh, uh, Facebook. Ah. You get? So this is the name of the file. Name we are offline. I'm just going to change this name so that we can make the, the application work as expected. So I'm just going to come here down and I change this file name. To maybe uh, F face book. Uh, just say that's the name of the app. So that's the name of the app we are going to be uploading online. So this is just my simple piece of code. This from a uh, Flask import Flask, which is simple app equals to Flask the name. And then if you try to run this definitely your PC should be working up. It should be launching up in the browser. If at all you're very keen on up and launch this. Of, uh, stuff. Now I'm done with making that simple stuff. You can actually copy my piece of code if you find it interesting, so that you can be in position to access the stuff with me. Now some of you guys are about asking me what if I come back down here and I try to add some kind of styles with CSS. Um, I'm not interested in that at the moment. I'm not interested in that. So you guys who are maybe asking me, I'm not interested in that at the moment. Okay. So uh, Facebook. Just called Facebook. Ah, just that for now. So that's what we have. So let's go back online. So what do we need now at the moment? We need now to come up with a console. Okay, so you click on console here so that we start up. So the following steps, these are the what we don't need. We need the the first one is the dashboard where you're in right now. The next one is consoles, next is files, then the last is web, launching the web online. So let's start with the console, start by clicking up the console file there, then we should be pushing us online so that we will be impossible to access what we need. Now underneath that, the next step that we need to do, or the next thing that we need to come up with is, uh, uh, we need to create up something called, uh, uh, create a new console, start a new console, just going to close all of those, just killing up those stuff so um if that's just okay I'm also moving that one off so that I don't need them off. So I'm just try to refresh again. So I don't have any console yet retrieving console. Remember my app is actually running up here. Okay. So that one does not stop our app from running. So here there's some few things that we need to set up for uh, this uh, kind of stuff that you're going to work on with. To start up a new console, you can actually go there. Here, when you try to cross check on the files, and then you try to cross check, we shall actually need to know uh, which type of stuff are we going to be using. Is it this one? Which one are we going to use? So, I'm just going to start a bash by clicking there. So, when you run a bash, it will open up for you uh, something like this. 
you get so uh, in simple terms it's going to create for you console which will be having it online to start up your uh, your given application so uh, the, the first steps or the first thing we need to do now at the moment is to make uh, uh, underneath a python so we just want to wait a bit so I hope it's ready so we're just going to be uh, making up the directly making up the virtual machine so I'm going to say mk uh, Okay. So don't forget that steps we have been always using when you're offline. So then dash dash uh, Python. So then Python equals to uh, Python equals to four slash u uh, s bin four slash r. You specify the version of Python you're going to be using. For my always like to use Python three point six. Then I'm just going to change the name. I'm going to just give it a name called OSP. You get? Oh, I'm just going to give a simple name as maybe FB. You get? Now you check here. Check here. We already have uh, this MK version env dash dash Python equals to first slash use user being dash dash that so if i happen to just hit enter that implies fb is the one which is going to be having up our stuff you get so it's going to be processing for us the wheel and then after then we shall be in a position to install flask and then after doing that we shall go to files and then put new directory and all those will be done so in a simple term like i've said here wait a bit and the process to finalize the stuff my internet is kind of slow um, then for you guys who may be from a different part of your world or Uganda whatever and maybe interested in our services you can always comment down on our YouTube channel so that you can find out we are linking up so like I've said we are done so far the process is done we are done with actually installing we are having those parts with us so you just go to say pip install for me flask because we are going to be in this video today we are going to be using flask to come up with what we need so I'm just going to press enter so that you can actually access what we need so when I'm loading, so cache that blah blah is caching up for us the files, which then is going to be Python hosted, 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 hosted. So that's it, that's it. Installing up ginger and then the stuff is done. So uh, after doing all those that you have done, so we are done. So I just need to go back to my dashboard and I go to files. So for this time around, we are done with all what's needed. So try to close check on our stuff. We already have the stuff we need so our stuff is done so the next step now like I've said we should need now to do is to go to files you get uh, yeah to go to files which then will give us a chance to come up with what we need you get so you can either go to file here or you can just say open another file yeah. so you can click there choose a path to an existing file blah blah just close that but actually you can click here and then you upload up your new file you okay? get because that file is going to be present on the other stuff of ours now here we shall have a deployment uh, for this stuff which we can actually change to the new directory now if you want you can actually do it like now my deployment the other side is called FB I can just change that name to be that so where I happen to click here, we shall be having a new directory called FB, which FB we shall put in another new app. So it's going to be waiting for us to upload the app. So if I just click here, upload a file, I click there. Remember, we already happen to change this file of ours to file Facebook. So when I double click there, I think you can see now it's loading up our file. And our file is ready down here, is ready to be what? To be deployed. Now, this is what I'm going to do. If you try to cross check, go back home here, you will discover that now inside here, OSP, we have deploy, which we click on deploy, we shall have a file, which file is called my flask. Now, let me just say, give assumption, I take back here, and I go back to OSP, I mean to FB. FB is going to take us to Facebook.py. Now, that's the file we are going to talk to. So, if you go now here on this side of web, here. Now this is the last step that we always use whenever we are going to deploy up and up. 
So in a single term, this time around, I'm going to say add another web. So I'm just going to click there. Wow. I've got another web on the beginner plan. You can only have one web. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I can only have one web for that case, but then if you try to cross check using this same URL always speed blah blah to make sure maybe we do some changes for for this type of hours. This is what we can do. We can actually come down here. If you check here now, uh check down here where 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 here in Vasho, we can actually change this one to FB because that's where FB is, so we can change that to FB, so that you can be picking from FB. So you click here, start a console in the version. So when I click there, and again, I'm just going to be uh, changing that stuff of ours to FB to be picking up FB up. So I click there, it's going to be loading up for us the stuff FB. But remember now that's it. So that implies in a simple time if I try to refresh here. Uh, for this time around because remember we've already changed the path there's nothing yet happening but remember we've changed that so at the moment the home page is going to be always be that which is still okay then I just need to change this file name this WSGI config so when I click there to config this so that we can be picking from FB so this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to come down here or where there is the flask and I just enable it and then I'm just going to change this one to FB then if you try to cross check this is the name of our app so I just need to come back again down here I just right click and pick this name this name of our app that we are having here down copy that name then I just go back in down here and I just double click here and I paste that very name of that app. Now, after doing that, since we are done with that now, this is what we are going to do. This is what we have. So I'm just going to click here to save. Okay. So if you check back again down here, I've already changed that. So remember, this is what I gave there, Facebook app. So if I come back in here inside our URL and I try to refresh, I hope it's going to work. There's no error. I hope so. So my friends, we have just happened to upload our new app with you. So that's how the stuff works. So in a simple term, if you want to come back and then you deploy, you get to understand more of the stuff, then I just press you to come to OSP IT Digital Solutions. Come and learn with us. Come and get to know the trick. Come and discover the truth. Come and know and witness. So it shall be impossible to any other employ. So in most cases, since you guys we deal with the students, we deal with the people who really feel like to learn stuff. We tend to do this on all the basic. We will always try to find all the free softwares for you. So if you find this video interesting, please comment down below. If you find this video interesting, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have also if there's something that you'd like to actually to update us to inform us, please also you can always comment down below. And if you also want to support us in all other ways, also comment down below. But the link is going to be there, which will take you straight to our website. And then if you find a way of giving us a hand, then it will also be great. Let's go back into our site. We check back here. This config file is always by default. Uh, it tells a file that will be playing up online. But since I don't have, it only allows us to access one website, and then I happen not to be in position to create one, I just have to use the one with the URL which is there, but don't forget, always this URL or the name is always coming up from your own name, the name will be up as a username, otherwise if you don't have the username taken, then you will not be in position to access the site. So my friends, I'm just pleased to have this time with you and now for this question, I'm just going to go back to my dashboard and I say down. So in a simple term, in a simple way, that's the unique way how you can come up with your own website launched using what using a uh, sorry um, using uh, Python and Flask. Now you can comment down below. We shall also see how to use Python with the Django, Python with MySQL, and then we'll see ourselves done. So guys, thank you for watching. We just learned how to come up with the site today. So in 20 minutes, we are done. Thank you guys. I wish you a nice time. Love you all. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.